Welcome to Development with Mark Monster, Episode 3, Running a Timer Triggered Azure Function. I am Mark Monster and today I want to help you run a Timer Triggered Azure Function locally in Visual Studio. So let's dive into Visual Studio. So here inside Visual Studio we have an empty Azure Functions project and we want to add a new Azure function. So we go to add new Azure function. And we want to create a C sharp triggered timer triggered function. Choose for timer trigger. Give it a meaningful name. Here at the right we can see the time trigger schedule. This is based on the cron expression and you can adjust this later on as well. Basically this current expression means run every minute. Let's create the Azure function. And let's not focus on adding any logic in here, but you will see here in the run that CSX there is just a log line in here. So what happens when we start this Azure function? We will see the Azure Functions command line interface will show up and in a couple of seconds it will also load the Azure functions. And as you can see it will fail with an error because it cannot go without an Azure Web Jobs storage connection. So let's add an Azure Web Jobs storage connection. We have to go to the app settings.json. And here we see the Azure Web Jobs storage key. And let's fill it in with use development storage equals to. Maybe some of you already know this kind of connection string, um, but it also needs the Azure Storage Emulator to be running. So let's also start the Azure Storage Emulator. So the Azure Storage Emulator is now running, and let's start the function again. And in a couple of seconds it will load the timer trigger. And what you will see is there will be the next five occurrences of the schedule will be shown in the log as well. So it will be running for the first time in a couple of seconds. And then after another minute it will run again and so forth. And you will see the Azure function has been triggered. So I'm going to stop this function's command line interface host. So what if we want to adjust the cron schedule? We go to the functions to JSON and here you can see the schedule property as well. Let's say we want to run it every five minutes instead. So we change the schedule a bit like this. We save it and we run the Azure function host again. The cron expressions that are used by Azure functions are not 100% standard. There are a lot of websites on the internet that help you create cron expressions, but I didn't find many that were actually working with Azure functions. So please use the documentation of Azure Functions for help in changing the cron expressions. As you can see here, it will run every 5 minutes, 2040, 2045 and so forth. Thank you for watching this episode of Development with Mark Monster. Let me know if you like this video by pressing the thumbs up. Thanks.